Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimax and I want to personally thank you for helping me reach four, more than 4,000 subscribers guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I know it says 4,132 but uh... It was two weeks ago that I received 4,000 subscribers and I wanted to make a video about it. But uh, i just been busy at work since the summertime and all I do is work all summer before I go back to school in August. So I basically don't really have time to make long videos like this and I don't have, I currently don't have any ideas on what type of videos I'm going to make next. But Windows 10 is just right around the corner. It comes out on July, like towards the end of July. So I'm going to try to get my hands on that actual operating system if I could install it and actually show you guys how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 8, Windows 10 to Windows 7, how to do boot, how to do everything with Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7 all mixed up. I cannot it's gonna be a lot of tutorials during 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 around that area during August. It's gonna be this channel is gonna hopefully grows big with those videos. But anyways thank you for, for all your love and support guys. But since I don't have a how to tutorial I'm just gonna do a video on my setup. As you can see, there's been significant amount of changes to my setup. In case if you haven't watched my other video yet, on my setup uh, back in December, you could click on the annotation somewhere around the screen. It will lead you to that video if you want to see the dramatic changes that I changed during my setup. So yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna do a review on what I have, what I have on my computer, the specs and everything, and simple stuff like what I have in my drawers and yeah. So uh, let's start off from here. As you can see, there's a garbage can. Not nothing too exciting over there. Right here, I just got a couple of bags, my high school diploma, a U lock, and a wrench, just in case if I want to lock my bike or fix my bike. Uh, old toothbrushes that I used to clean some stuff. Um, cables, USB sound card. Uh, my my operating system CDs right there, and I got Call of Duty for PS4 and PC right there. Um, that's about it right there. Uh, my sister's scissors, grease, Allen keys, uh, another adjustable wrench, gloves, tape. Uh, I don't even know. Nesquik, and just basic stuff, deodorant, and all that. And now let's get to the more interesting stuff. Uh, right here I have a lava lamp. I just recently bought it like two days ago. Uh, it's really cool right now. The lava doesn't move or it's not, it's not be because it's not turned on. The idea here is this is wax. So the bulb gets, uh, you know how it gets hot? It, it starts heating the wax and at that same moment it's filled with, with some special liquid. It's not water. And the wax is just floating around like after an hour it starts it's like fully melted and you can see the wax moving around so I think that's pretty good for this setup cuz cuz it has liquid uh, blue liquid and my setup is basically almost everything blue my keyboard my mouse and my my lights over there but yeah uh, right here I have my PS4 uh, I cannot say that much about it because it's just a PS4 a normal stock PS4 uh, here's my PS4 controller. I have this PS4 hooked up to the Zen 4. And if you don't know what's the Zen 4, I'm just going to give you a little brief description. The Zen 4 just uh, allows you to use your keyboard and mouse instead of the joysticks and the controller because I honestly suck with them. Without, without the Zen 4, I wouldn't even be able to play PS4 because since I was, since I started gaming on PC, I'm bringing my PC skills into the PS4 system because I honestly cannot use these. But yeah, I have a more in-depth video on how you could get a Zen 4. If you click on the screen, uh, somewhere around the screen, there's going to be a notation. You can click on it. It will lead you to a second tab, so it will not close this tab out and open a new one or, or leave this video by itself. It will just open it a new tab. So just in case you guys are wondering. Uh, I have a Logitech speaker right here. And there's the other one. It's con I forgot the the name of the speaker, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a words at the bottom saying what model and all that. So don't worry if I don't say it right here. And I turn on my speakers from here, uh, volume up, volume down, and right here I have a a jack just in case if I don't want to blast the music and have my headphones, I could just connect them right here. And it has a 25 watt subwoofer or a 
50 watt. I'm pretty sure it's a 25 watt. I'm not so sure. But yeah, it was, it's a really good sound, sound system for 40 bucks at Walmart. So yeah. I highly recommend it. I've seen a lot of people with this uh, sound system. It's really good. Uh, let's move on to my screens. All of these screens, they're all Acer, as you can see. The two on the side, the left and the right, they're both the same model. X90, X193W, as you can see. And then the one in the middle is P191W. The only physical difference that I can see be between these screens is that the P191W, which is the one in the middle, is glossier and the other ones are just matte black. Uh, the only technical difference that I know as of right now is that it supports 1080p because I, I have my PS4 at 1080p. So I know uh, this supports 1080p. These two do not, but I don't think no one really cares about about how 1080p works on these screens because these screens are pretty old now, but they still do the job. Um, they're all 19 inches. This is a perfect, perfect size if you don't want uh, like a, if you if you're all going into making triple monitor in, into triple monitors, I think 19 inches is, is great to start off with because because honestly for me this is already big. I don't want nothing too big or nothing too small. So yeah, uh, I got the Nave Point triple monitor free stand. This stand I can move it around, not just here. Uh, I was planning to get the one that mounts to the desk, but I got a feeling the desk is gonna crack because this is extremely heavy it may crack or it may scratch my desk or anything like that so I, I just went with this the only downside with with a freestand is that it has this huge legs they're massive and it's pretty heavy too but I don't think it matters about the heaviness because you're not gonna be carrying it around but if, if, if it's massive just make sure you get a big desk that way uh, you have uh, room to lay your palm, your your hands and uh, have enough space like my desk uh, if you're wondering what my desk is, I don't know what my desk is. Uh, there's somewhere, there's a picture right now as I'm speaking of uh, the name of my desk and there's like a little picture on the side. So that should answer your question, guys. <laughs> um, moving on, since I have my camera pointing at my keyboard, this is a Razer Black Widow Ultimate Keyboard. I bought this used on eBay because it's pretty hard to find a new one in blue LED because the usually most, most of the Razers now, they're green. And I was trying to find a blue LED. Uh, the only downside with this keyboard is since I bought a use only the L the M3 LED, the Micro 3 LED light doesn't work, and the 4. But I don't think that matters. It matters if it actually works when I push the button. And if you guys are moving on uh, into mechanic from a standard keyboard to a mechanical keyboard, you're gonna feel a difference because when you press the key, like you don't need to press it all the way down like you do in a in a regular keyboard so and not just because of the noise I don't really care about the noise I just care about the quality and what makes a uh, mechanical keyboard so good and it actually does help me a little bit better when I'm playing um, advanced warfare so yeah or any other game it's like a good it's like a big difference and this is my CM storm keyboard this came with my CM storm my my uh, cooler master devastator keyboard it came with with that uh, keyboard and that's the standard keyboard I had before but here let me see if I could show you guys um, right here but I already messed it up and yeah I don't really like it I didn't really like it but if you if you guys are looking for something cheap and something good to start off I suggest you to get um, the CM Storm or the Devastator yeah the Devastator because um it has a nice blue LED lights. It's still it's still a standard keyboard, but it's something. It's something. Not everyone starts at the top, guys. I started all the way at the bottom and worked my way up. You shouldn't see you. Sh I never had this computer. I never had anything like this. I just work and uh, and just move. Like if you guys want to want to do good, you start. You always start from the bottom and you go to the top. But anyways, moving on to. Uh, Oh yeah, just one, a little few more descriptions about this mouse. Uh, it's laser, obviously. Has this nice rubber thing, which I never really touch, or sometimes I do. It has a forward and a backward button, and you could change the DPI up here. Obviously, the brighter the light, that's the highest DPI support. And yeah, that's basically it with this. Uh, a regular mouse, a mouse pad that I bought at Micro Center, along with this microphone. I could just use it to turn it on and off. 
And now moving to the big stuff right here where everyone probably is wondering right now what do I have in my machine. So I'm going to start off with the hard drives. Uh, the top one is a Samsung solid state drive 240 gigabytes. That's where I have my main operating system which is Windows 7 right now. Uh, I also have uh, Sony Vegas and Photoshop in that hard drive because if you want to the reason why I installed those programs is because those programs usually take a little bit longer to render or to load up. So uh, I, I install my my main big programs in there. If it's something like little, like a browser, maybe Microsoft Office, I suggest you to install it on a storage hard drive, which I have right here. This storage hard drive is a Western Digital Green Edition, one terabyte hard drive, nothing big, nothing fancy, it's just something normal. So yeah, so that's a Western Digital one terabyte. Solid state drive, Samsung solid state drive, 240 gigabytes. Uh, moving on to my neon lights or Xeon lights or whatever. These are my logistic uh, lights, blue LED. They're 12 inches long. Uh, I bought them on eBay for like six dollars or twelve dollars. Makes my setup look nice, and you could, could you could actually control it from back here. As you can see, you're gonna see a red switch, and I could just turn it off, on, off, on. Doesn't matter. But most of the time, I'm obviously going to leave it on because it makes my computer look cool. And my computer's already dusty. There are two extra um, chargers right here for my for my iPhone. Um, this is the King Wing. Or I'm not sure how to pronounce it because I don't really... Because this, this power supply doesn't really... It's not out there no more. But this is a laser power supply. 660 watts. It's a really good power supply I haven't had any problems with it and I've been having it for the past five years because that's when I built my setup only I just upgraded a few parts so uh, if you look at my previous video b before this you'll know what parts I upgraded and yeah this is 660 watt power supply there's a nice blue LED fan at the bottom but I'm but my computer's too heavy and I like where it is right now so I'm not bothering moving and uh, when there's the when these connections are in use there's like a blue LED that's glowing r right on it so, so since these don't have nothing, there's no LED effect right there. But yeah, uh, moving on to my graphics card. This is the EVGA GeForce GTX 660, <coughs> two gigabytes DDR5 graphics card. This is a really, really good, nice graphics card to start off with gaming. Like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna last you a long time and the quality is superb. I know there's the GTX Titan and all those crazy graphics cards, but this is a really, really good, card to start off with for the money make them the money fit it's uh it's two hundred dollars but but the quality is fair and acceptable so yeah if you guys are looking into getting a, a graphics card get this one this is like the cheapest best one um and uh it has the the way it all uh, cools is that if air is going inside that fan is going out is going through through the graphics card, through the heat sinks, and then it just outspills the back. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a Biostar TA870 Plus motherboard. I think this is just a regular standard motherboard when I bought it back five years ago. Uh, it doesn't say nothing about gaming. Like this is, this is for this is a motherboard for hardcore gamers and all that. It doesn't it doesn't say anything about that. But I use it for gaming. But but not that I don't game no more since I got the PS4. Um, I just I just leave my graphics card my I just I I, I don't bother to plan uh, to replace my motherboard anytime soon. Um, Corsair, I mean my my RAM is Corsair XMS3 DDR3 four times four 16 gigabytes. I'm running 16 gigabytes right now. As you can see, I have this my the original box right here just for little decorations around my room. This. It makes my computer go by fast, and I love it. Uh, I got my my Cooler Master Sedion 240M water cooling. This is stock water cooling, as you can see, but it's really good because before I had my stock heating that came with my CPU, which my CPU is sorry about that is two point ah oh crap. It's AMD Phantom 2 1055T from uh, AMD six cores and um with stock uh heatsink my temperatures were around 32 degrees celsius 
And uh, with this water cooling um, device, the Cooler Master is 240 ACDM. The temperatures, they're cut by half, so they're around 14 degrees Celsius, which is really good. Really good for the CPU. And uh, I just got a 120 millimeter fan right here. Uh, Sony DVD drive, which I'm pretty sure no one cares. Uh, one more 20 millimeter fan right there. Another one right there, but this is blue LED. Uh, right here, the heating has two Cooler Master fans that they're just spilling the air up. I should have a side panel right here, but um, I don't because it makes my setup look cool. But I should I should get a side panel for it. But I want a side panel that's all clear because the one that comes with this case, it there's only one little window right here. It doesn't show the rest. So yeah, and my case is um NZXT Fatnum um 410. It's a really nice case. Uh, I think the new ones are a little bit better because they have more LEDs and and more buttons and all that. But this case is really good. DVG drive is right there. Oh crap! Um, my blue LED fan right here. You can see the blue LED. Then my operating system, my CPU, my graphics card. And uh, I think that's basically it, guys. If you want, I'm just gonna have, hold my camera around here and um, to show you guys how it looks like. Uh, this is just an old movie that I had. Let me close this out. So yeah, guys, if you just wanna, if you wanna look around, get any ideas on how you wanna start your own setup, or if you wanna make adjustments to your setup, you could get an idea from mine. So yeah, guys. So again, guys, thank you so much for helping me reach 4,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. And there's more content coming as soon as Windows 10 has come out or um, when I get an idea on what to do next. But yeah, guys, if you guys are wondering why do I have a PS4 and a PC, it's because in PC gaming, I got advanced warfare for PC gaming. And uh, it's pretty hard to find lobbies. Like if you want to play uh, Capture the Flag, which I personally don't, but I'm just using it as a as an example if I want to play capture the flag um it's really hard to find people or it's very hard to find lobbies because there's barely any players playing on PC you could barely find you can only find mosh pit domination and team deathmatch it's really hard to find the rest like ground war search and destroy is because everyone's in consoles so that's why I decided to went, go for a PS4 since a lot of people are are on PS4 and PS4 has 8 gigabytes of of GPU memory which is really good for four hundred dollars for this if it's eight gigabytes for a computer for a, for a GPU for a computer it will be more expensive so I'm like ah, I'll go with a PS4 and the Xbox one is too bulky but yeah guys thank you so much again this is PSP Slim Hacks bye